Hey guys, I'm here at the LE Auto Show with Tensor, Tensor the car company, and with me is Amy Luca, the Chief Marketing Officer for Tensor. So I've actually not heard about Tensor before today, and I want to hear more about the product and the company. Uh, so Amy, Hi. nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Um, why don't we go over what the vision is of Tensor, the robocar, and how it works, and who's going to buy it? Of course. So we are a Silicon Valley uh, founded company. Uh, Tensor the brand and this vehicle were launched three months ago, but we've been in development for over 10 years. Uh, a little bit in stealth, uh, so that's why you haven't heard from us. Uh, this is the first level four fully autonomous vehicle that you can personally own. So unlike other robo taxis, this is a robo car, which is a car that can be owned by you and in your garage for your personal use. It's the first AI agentic car and that just means that the car is learning, processing, and uh, in the service of its owner. So can imagine, uh, for instance, in the morning, your tents are texting you and letting you know that if you need to make your meeting, that there's a certain time, maybe 8.15, you gotta leave on time uh, to make your meeting. Uh, so the car will be communicating with its owner and learning the daily activities and habits. So level four autonomy means that you could be like eyes off, hands off. Yeah, eyes off, hands off. As a matter of fact, in L4, there's no steering wheel in our car. I see. But in so, this in this prototype here, this is actually an early build, early and build. Um, I, the steering wheel will collapse, the screen covers, and then it's level four mode. Oh, I see. Um, so it gets completely out of your way when you don't need it. Completely out of your way. No pedals. You can't mess with it. Yeah. Um, but if you want to drive, and if that's important for a personal vehicle. I think so. Yeah, because if, sometimes you want to drive. Yeah, I like driving. Or you have to drive, <laughs> so you can drive. So it's actually the first, world first dual mode L4 vehicle. Awesome, and I see there's, there are many LiDAR sensors all over yes. the vehicle. There's and five. even Five LiDAR five sensors. Five LiDARs, yes. And there, there are no rear view mirrors, there are just these digital screens it's here. It's cameras. cameras, yeah, so a camera system. So the car has over 100 sensors, including the five LiDAR, 17 cameras. Uh, radar, other sensors like smoke detector, water detector, so if there's you're driving through high water, uh, but over 100 sensors in the car designed to keep you safe. Amazing. And so this is like, like today I got here in a Waymo, which kind of like when yes. I saw this car, I thought maybe this is like an autonomous taxi, yes. but this is a car you can actually buy and own. Yes, uh, and Waymos are amazing. Um, yeah. But I think the difference from a Waymo, or at least Waymos today, is a Waymo is a retrofitted car exactly. that is now L4 autonomous. This is a purpose-built from the ground up car. Uh, it is completely original, uh, designed by us, um, and it's designed for L4 autonomy. And that's important because when you're dealing with LiDAR um, and the sensors, you want to make sure the car shape allows for no blind spots and so we're designed so that the car has zero blind spots and has 360 degree the lidar can see up to 300 meters oh really good then it can also see in like in all types of weather too which is yeah, like that's on the like difference between cameras vision system exactly is, vision systems yeah. you know if you have really high fog or difficult traffic dis uh, conditions uh the cameras uh struggle but lidar does not struggle in in low visibility situations cool and how about the interior? Like, so there are seats for five people in here? Yes, there are. And I see this back door opens kind of backwards too. Yeah, so we call those carriage doors. Carriage doors. Which allows for easy access, yeah. getting in and out of the car. Um, all the back seats also go completely flat. So if you wanted to have camping mode uh, and sleep in the back of your car, you could do that too. Really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, are you able to share any of the motor or battery specifications for this? Uh, we have that all on our website. You're welcome to go check it out at tensor.auto. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll check it out. Yeah. And um, when do you think this will come to market? It will be in market, uh, available for purchase end of next year, beginning in the United States will be beginning of 2027. It goes into manufacturing in Q4 2026. Amazing. Yeah. Th thank you for your time. This looks really cool. Thank I you. can't wait to try it out one day. I can't uh, wait to let you have a try.